Morning. Right, ladies and gents, what I'm going to be tying today, I'm going to do an articulated pipe fly. I'm actually going to do white and red this time. Um, just back from Fly Fest, it's a fly tying show in Penrith the weekend. A lot of people were asking me about these, especially uh, if they're heavy to cast. But these are all tied, reverse tie, they're light. You get an easy 12 inch fly out of them. So, we've got a rattle on there as well. But because of the size of fly and the length of video is going to be, I'm going to do it in a two part. Makes it easier. So, first part. So, rear hook. Don't have much in there. But it just extends the body and it will give it awesome movement in the water. So for hooks, hooks we've been using, we're using the rear hook. It's a Kuma Manus 545. And a size 40. So you put a small hook at the back, a bigger hook at the front. So start off. The thread I'm going to be using today. Juni, big flying white. You need a decent thread. You put a lot of pressure on these flies and you don't want it to break. So start off right in the middle of the hook. Bit of super glue. Bit of zappa gap. It makes it everything solid. When you put a lot of pressure on it, it won't turn. Start off, thread on, right in the centre. We're not using the whole hook. You don't have to use the whole hook. It's uh, it's a lot of these materials cover up. So the main bit of the fly is going to be white bucktail. All white bucktail is doing, it creates a frame for your other material so that they hold its shape. So we take a generous amount and we just get, we get rid of all the short bits. I don't stack it. I like the tapered look. It blends in nicer. So we're going to reverse tie this on your hook. Roll it round. Pull it tight. Two or three wraps and that's you solid. So get rid of your tags. All your tags are doing. I like, You don't have to take your tags off. I personally do. It just tidies the fly up. And to be honest, you don't need the extra weight. It's just, it's all going to get covered anyway, so. If we tidy it up, a little bit of varnish. Let it soak in nice, got a durable fly, and just tidy up your ends. Bring your thread back to the, get your bucktail. So, move over a bit so you can see it. So, use a bit of tube. Just a plastic tube about half inch into the diameter. So roll it all back as much as you can back. And you bring your thread, bring it straight forward and then round and you won't trap any materials. So in doing this, what you're wanting is you don't want to tie over your bucktail, you just want to tie up to it. You're making a dam against the bucktail or a wedge or I don't know what the best phrase would be just to hold all your bucktail back. So you've got a, a nice fan shape I suppose would be the best way to describe it. So you go right the body material is Gus and Glint, it's a deer creep material, it's a synthetic. It's uh, got flash blended through it. it. It's a nice, nice synthetic. It's not straight, it's a bit crinkly, I don't know if you can see it. But once you, when you, when you take a bit of what you need, less is always more, taper it in your hands, taper both ends. 
So you've got no trimming when you put it in the fly. And what I'm wanting this is, I'm going to go 60% out the back, 40% out the front. When I put it on top of the hook, I roll it round, so it goes round 180 degrees, and I catch it down. Right? And then this bit sticking to the front, I split it, and I pull it underneath. So, most of your material is going to be on top of the hook. Get that tidied up, catch it down, comb out. So that's you, you've got your main, your main body, your fly. Bit of flash, always like a good bit of peril down the sides, just this wide peril. I'm going to do it again, 60-40. Then fold your tag back. Same on the other side. 60-40. Just roughly the same length as the other side. I don't like all my flies the same, all my materials the same length. I like to blend it. Yeah, 60-40. Bit of super glue. Always continue super glue in the stages. It just makes a very durable fly. Okay, tidy up everything. Now I'm going to put in a bit of this is Magnum flash about from Hedron. Three strands, three, four strands. Not need a lot of flash. We get this stuff, I'm going to double it. I'm going to taper it in my hands, my fingers, just so they're uneven. Again, it looks a bit more natural. And again, 60-40. I'm going to put this one right on the top. This bunch is bang on the top. And these ones I'm going to split again and I'm going to put on the underside. Split it even, well, even as you can. go and then just tidy up whip finish four or five turns and that's your rear half of your fly done to finish this off what I use is uh, Deer Creek resin it's a UV resin this one's the hard uh, just a nice little thin coating, it's all you need. This stuff just is just for durability and it completely seals the fly. In a day, because these flies take a bit of time to cure, you're not, uh, have a bit of time to make, you're not wanting to, for them to get destroyed in the first fish. So. That's all you need. So you can put this out. There's a rear half of your fly. Right, tune in for the next part of it. I'll show you to the head. Thanks for watching. Bye.